Good evening. I'd like to thank you for joining us here once again for our Wednesday evening prayer prompt at the Greenbrier Church Online. My freshman year of high school, our church youth group went to Ohio to do some mission work with a small congregation that was there, right outside of Cincinnati. We hosted a vacation Bible school, we held a youth rally, did puppet shows in a park, and when we were getting ready to leave, one of the members of that church walked up and handed me a little white cardboard square that held a very rough-edged tiny coin. At first glance, I thought he just gave me an old penny that had been badly damaged. I said thank you and just slipped it into my pocket. That little coin sat in a box in my bedroom until after Trista and I got married. When I was moving stuff from my parents' home to our new home and pulling stuff out of those boxes, I once again discovered this little coin. Probably for the first time, I really looked at the coin and I read the inscription on that little white piece of cardboard. It said, Widow's Might. As I read those words, I immediately thought of that wonderful little story that Mark gives us about a widow who is making her contribution at the temple. In Mark chapter 12, we read, Jesus sat down near the collection box in the temple, and he watched as the crowds dropped in their money. Many rich people put in large amounts. Then a poor widow came and dropped two small coins. Jesus called his disciples to him and said, I tell you the truth, this poor widow has given more than all the others who are making contributions, for they gave a tiny part of their surplus. But she's poor, and she gave everything she had to live on. Our church family has the opportunity, the privilege, to meet in this really cool building. We've got a gymnasium, we have classrooms, we have a beautiful auditorium. And there are times that things need to get painted, or an air conditioner needs to be serviced, or our gym floor needs to be replaced. I understand that all of those things cost money. And it's easy at those times to get impressed with the amount of money that our members are willing to give to this church to put into our collection boxes. I'm very thankful that our membership takes ownership of the space. Very often we give to the church in a way that doesn't require much of a sacrifice. You see, we're the rich people who are putting in large amounts. Those are not the people that caught the attention of Jesus, though. Jesus was looking for people who were willing to sacrifice, and the widow's offering was one that even though it wasn't a lot monetarily, it was a great sacrifice. You see, she only had two coins and she gave them both. The proportion of her giving has always seemed to be the, the point of the story. You see, there's a very hard lesson that Jesus is calling us to learn. This poor woman didn't have anything, so anything that she gave to the church was a sacrificial offering. But yet she gave all that she had. Those two coins represented her heart, her mind, her soul, her strength. She totally trusted God for not only her present, but her future. Jesus reminds us that the greatest commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, soul, body, and strength. When we commit to God, we commit to give Him everything that we have. The question I want us to consider as we spend some time in prayer tonight is, are you giving everything back to God? Are, are you willing to use your time the way that He asks you to? Are you willing to turn your focus away from yourself and focus completely on Him? God calls us to live a life that imitates Jesus, and Jesus gave his all. So tonight, I want us to contemplate what are we willing to give to God, and what are we holding on to? Have we really loved God with everything that we have, or are we just kind of loving God, holding a majority back for ourselves? You see, with God, it has always been an all-or-nothing premise. We're supposed to love God with everything. Loving God partially is not loving the way that Jesus loved. So tonight as we pray, let's spend some time thinking about how dedicated are we to the cause of Christ. Let's pray. Lord, I pray tonight that you will open our minds and our hearts 
so that we can explore the depth of our love for you. We, we understand, we've talked about for months how much you love us, how much you care for us, how we can't earn your grace, we don't deserve your grace, we can do nothing to make you love us more, we can do nothing to make you love us less. Father, we have talked an awful lot about your love for us. Tonight, help us consider our love for you. Lord, I know that we want to love you we, we want to love you with all of our heart, our mind, our soul, our body, and our strength, but sometimes we just slip into doing what's easy. We get so frustrated with the world, we get frustrated with what we assume is supposed to be happening, that we get to that point that all we really want to do is just exist and just get by. And Father, I know that you've called us for so much more than that. You have offered us so much more than that. So Lord, tonight as we talk, as we think, as we pray to You, open our minds to the possibility of what would happen in our lives if we worshipped You, if we sacrificed everything to be close to You. And Lord, as we get an understanding of what that looks like, I pray that it will draw us to want to love You the way that You have loved us. And it's in the name of Christ we pray. Amen. What Jesus wants for us is for us to love Him the way that He loves us. I pray tonight in your conversation and your prayer that you will be able to think about what that actually looks like in your life. To not only accept the full love and mercy and grace from God, but to live that out and to love Him back. I hope you have a wonderful time of conversation. Please go in peace. Know that you're loved. And I look forward to seeing you very soon.